Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to the Which Canoe is the Best Canoe Mock Tournament where there's lots of canoes, some mockery, and also a lot of cram cannons because that's what we like around here. And so we're at fight four. We've had three exciting matches so far. We've had some upsets and we've had some canoes uh, get very upset by being blown up. And our contestant today is over on the right. We have team two. Uh, canoe hull four, the sloping back V, and over on the left we have canoe hull five, the uh, sloping forward V, I think. No, other way around, sorry. Other way around, so I should have been angling the camera the other way. So, anyway, so uh, canoe, uh, canoe hull five is fresh off their success, uh, beating the stuffing out of the diamond shapes, which were the winners in fight one, and uh, they're... Combination of two main guns, uh, saving resources by not having mortars, which I easily dodged, and a uh, nice flat hull with Azabozit attached means that they have concentrated firepower and maneuverability, and so that's what's seeing them uh, take the day so far. And then over here, canoe hull... Uh, I can remember my own things. Canoe hull 4 uh, got by on bigness in back in fight number 2, uh, one V2 and uh, the one canoe hull 4 absolutely destroyed uh, the two smaller canoes. So it's got two big guns, uh, it's got mortars, and it's got sheer size and hit points on its side. So we'll have to see uh, which one of these two will come out on top today. So without further ado, here we go. So uh, volleys fired immediately. It looks like none of them are going to... Wait, nope. Oh no, that's uh, that's bad news. Immediately, uh, looks like what was that? That looked like that looked important. I actually can't see what happened there. Where did where did this get hit? Oh no, it got hit in the side. So it's all good. And looks like yeah, so very maneuverable. Uh, the number fives are just maneuvering off to the side. They're, like the number fours are way bigger. I don't think the mortars are going to do much uh, against the number fives because they are way too maneuverable. They wiggle around all over the place. Uh, that cram shell uh, looked like it hurt like hell, though, and it's a very even fight so far. Uh, yeah, oh dear. Yep, that's uh, that is a ruptured engine, and uh, considering the number of azipods that these guys have, uh, any hit to the engines is bad news. Also turned off that one main gun over there. Looks like uh, we're splitting up. We're having a bit of a duel situation over here, and then it's two on one over here. I'm not holding out much hope for uh, for this big fella, yeah, because uh, they don't dodge stuff very well. Uh, they're a little bit too big. Oh my goodness, what happened? AI dead? Holy wow, that was a must have been one hell of a shot. I'm sorry I missed that. Damn, got hit in the AI compartment. Plunging shot by the looks of it. Holy gravy. Well, uh-oh. Looks like advantage is very much uh, uh, with uh, with the uh, Hull 5s right now. I'm calling them Hull 5s because the names I've given them, which is the Sloping Back V. Was it? No, Sloping Forward V. I'm confusing myself. This is the V matchup. Uh, we've got V energy drinks non-stop. Alright, so uh, Team 2, Hull number 4s, uh, they've got a hell of a job now. Uh, I think they just took out an ammo compartment. Don't think, yeah, like I said, I don't think those mortars are gonna do diddly squat because these guys wiggle around a lot. Or not, they could, yeah, that's scratch damage though. That ain't gonna do much. So now it's three on one. It's uh, six main guns uh, versus uh, only two. And that's a turret disabled. Uh, engine's probably disabled as well by the looks of it. It looks looking like it's driving a little bit more slowly. I honestly think that the whole number fives are gonna take the whole tournament simply because um, it's maximum firepower from minimum hull and also not bothering with mortars um, it means that uh, it means that uh, like they just get lots of main guns in play so it's kind of best of both worlds of being like small and nimble but also big and uh, having spare guns that looked painful 
That looked like it turned off something important. Uh, yes, it did actually. It blew its brains out. We got AI deads. Oh dear, hole number four not doing so hot. Not doing so hot at all. Less than three minutes and uh, like uh, three hole number fives. It looks like um, it looks like sloping forward is uh, better than sloping back in terms of hole construction. And if you understood what I just said, I applaud you because uh, I barely understood what I just said. Also, I think this one actually looks nice from above. So that was a resounding victory uh, for the Hull Fives. And let's go back to setup and just show you the material difference. Uh, hull, uh, yeah, actually, so the Hull Fours, they have a slight material advantage. Um, not a major one, it looks like about 7,000, uh, hold on, uh, 8,000 materials roughly. It didn't help them one bit, so let's start that again. Uh, let's see if round two goes any different. Uh, we have not had a single match so far, by the way, that has gone to round three. Or maybe we'll see that uh, in future rounds, but uh, it seems to be that just lucky shots count for a lot. Uh, just getting him in the engines, getting him in the turret, getting him in the AI compartment, and that counts for a lot. And uh, the mortars certainly aren't counting for much uh, in this. Look at how well those azipods uh, turn those hulls around. It's like immediate. They turn on the spot, pretty much. I love azipods. Did that come across? That looked painful. What did that do? That did uh, basically nothing. Because it, uh, yeah. The, the uh, bow and stern of these guys is basically just there for flotation and for the azipods to attach to. Um, so shooting at it is almost a complete waste of time. Uh, meanwhile, oh dear, it looks like, yeah, the Hull Fives, they're doing, they're, they're winning again. Yeah, be, being, being big and not very maneuverable is not a very good idea in a cram fight. Definitely not a good idea. It looks like, once again, we're splitting up. The fact that there's three of them versus two of them for roughly the same material cost, that's also a bit of an advantage. Um, because it means two of them will inevitably gang up on uh, one of the larger canoes and then just uh, shoot it to pieces while dodging all the mortars. And so it looks like... Yeah, let's see here. What's happening? You're gonna need miracles to happen. Is that shell going to do anything? That actually looked like it hit somewhere. Also, just the extra side armor. That... Yeah, I'd say that did something. That got deep into the turret, by the looks of it. Where'd that go? Oh, yeah, that's, um... Oh, you're you're down one firing piece, mate. Yep. Oh, there it is! Well, no, uh, there it isn't, but okay, you get the uh, you get the point. When the whole barrel falls off, you know that uh, there's... Uh-oh. Yep, AI dead. Oh, dear. It looks like that uh, AI compartment, just being big, uh, does not secure your AI. It just means, uh... Hopefully there's less chance of, uh, damn, this thing almost got split in half by the looks of it. Yeah, just big shot right in the middle. Yeah, clustering all your, uh, having dense clusters of blocks, like, right at your center of mass might not actually be the best idea, because the center of mass is the easiest point of a ship to hit. And, oh boy, this, uh, you better hope that you can get a lucky AI dead shot. Did you? No, you didn't. Better, you better pull your A game. Oh, this guy's disabled. This guy's not firing anymore. Uh, you might want to shoot at. Uh, you might want to shoot at the other guys now. Let's see, which way are you aiming? Oh yeah, you don't want to be shooting at that guy. Oh, that's a very damaged cram turret. Yeah, that's a that. Whoa, oh, that's bad. Yeah, don't uh, turn the back of your turrets uh, towards uh, the two or oh, four guns that are in the game so far, because uh, they're going to hit you in the head. Yeah, this would be a very different story if instead of mortars it was missiles. Because missiles are great. And uh, there's that barrel guard saving that barrel, but only barely. Barely saving the barrel. Ouch. Yeah, that low free uh, low freeboard and wiggling around like crazy uh, is really helping them. Damn, look at these things move! Like, I've been using azipods on ships for ages now, and it's just... It's easy to forget just how maneuverable it makes them. 
That looked like it hurt like hell, though. That, uh... Ooh, boy. Yeah, where's the AI? It's all the way over there. Even saw the brain. Well, that would be very impressive if you managed to pull this off, mate. Are you gonna pull it off? It's 2v1 now. Whoa, okay, yeah, those mortars were way off. Oh, that looks promising. Or not. Hmm. It's almost like having a giant just lump of metal as a turret cap uh, makes it harder for things to blow your head off. Oh, that poor piddly little... Uh oh, you're not moving, are ya? Oh, you aren't moving. Oh, your main guns are down. Oh, I don't think there's gonna be a round three. I don't think there's gonna be a round three. I think this is the final round. Wow, the mortars are... Uh... The, uh, the mortars aren't doing much. Oh boy, yeah, that's four main guns still in the game. Unless those two have a collision and utterly destroy each other now. Like, all of the, the all of the Hull 5s, like, all of them are still above 90% health. That's how much they're crushing this. Wow. You poor soul. Uh-oh, yeah, that's, uh, that AI compartment. AP Frag, by the way is ridiculously strong, both um, for both the crams and APS, simply because, like, it doesn't need to be near the vital component uh, when it hits. Oh yeah, that's AI dead. I saw that happen. I saw that shell land right in the AI compartment and just go BOOM. So yeah, that was a severe ass whooping, like, whoa. Um, canoe hole number fives really didn't stand a chance there. Uh, 400,000 materials each, and the hole number fives, they, wow, they just rocked it. Absolutely rocked it. I had a feeling they might have. Um, they might have been able to do it, but yeah, but wow. I wasn't expecting them to kick this much ass. Uh, but yeah, so... That is fight four, and so the next uh, three fights we're gonna dip down to the loser's bracket uh, to give um, all the canoes which, which have had their butts kicked a uh, chance to redeem themselves, and uh, the winner uh, of uh, that whole loser's bracket gets to face off uh, against uh, the, uh, the number five canoes again, sloping forward V hulls. Uh, v sloping forward? I don't know. That is the least sexy name. It's just as well I didn't officially name these things with anything other than numbers. Maybe I should have given them names. Maybe I should have called this one Jeff. But anyway... Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in Which Canoe is the Best Canoe Mock Tournament. See you there and farewell.